What's up, sis? Hey. Let's jump in! What's gonna happen? What's gonna go down? Take a break. Oh! Yo. I was about to ask where Advisor Sana is. Thank you, Neff. How are the fellas? This? Jump into coughing. C coughing, yeah. Yo. The fun size forge? What's happening? The room fell silent. What happened again? They found the coffin. So this is... So this is just a different timeline. Where we're all alive, I guess, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, so Santa canonically is... Okay. <laughs> Yo! What's up, Ami? Clover looked down at her baby hands. Seven. Oh no, if only we had a two. <laughs> June. Good. Good timeline. Do, Junpei. What do you mean, what do I want to do? <laughs> what can we do? What if we call him Jumpy? What do you want to do, Jumpy? The thumping on the coffin is the most manka as anything. I hate how there's no music, by the way. <laughs> What the hell is that? Shh, quiet! What if... <laughs> what if it was the hole? Where is it coming from? Could it be... Get me out of here! Uh, hey, I think it's coming from this coffin. You're right. Let's open it. But how? What are those muscles for? For show? Yo, rip it open. You're telling me to force it open? Just shut up and try. Brute force it. <sighs> Arrgh. Arrgh. Damn it. Man, it won't even budge. Another keypad. How are they gonna get this? 
Not another one? Yeah, looks like it. Do you think we have to put in the right password or it won't open? I think so. Whoever or whatever's inside this thing wants out. And now. I know that. But how? Without a passcode, I, I don't think there's much we can do. How long has he been in this? Also, did he even, like, attempt to address what happened last time? When we got him out of the, the coffin? Did he say anything? Were there any questions? Was anybody like, what are you doing in here? <laughs> did we just roll with it? Isn't there a hint somewhere? Well, let's look for one. That's pretty funny. The pews. Ugh, there's nothing here. Not making this easy, are they? Pew. <sighs> Doompay just went raw and left it at that. What's the password? We're finishing tonight. What am I supposed to do? I don't have any responsibility after this, so I can just go till we finish. I need something. Ah, we got the bad end again. <laughs> the world blank. The world. No! 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 Wait, what? What the hell was that? That voice. Is he talking to Junpei from another timeline? Is he being possessed by futility? Huh? What? What's up? Huh? Oh, um, <clears throat> uh, nothing. Okay, guy, whatever. Uh, what was it again? Truth had gone, truth had gone, truth had gone. Right? That was it. Beep. Well, this is a little contrived. I guess they have been building up to the morph of Bleh. You know what I'm trying to say. Anything to speed it up. <laughs> I'm sure, uh... One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Yo. Huh? It was a lot easier in this timeline. Huh? Hey, what the hell were those numbers? Oh my gosh, are those... Huh. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. One four three, eight, three, four, three, four, two, two, one. One four three eight three four two one. Who could it be? Wamu. No way! What? 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 <laughs> he, just, he just did a. Why are you? Oh! <laughs> oh, is that you, Clover? I apologize for worrying you. Snake! This guy's so based. This guy, burn this face into your memories. This man is on Mount Ramor. You? Why? Junpei? And Seven? Is that you? Is everyone else there as well? Just like Rip Van Winkle. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> hey, this is kind of like a miracle. We, we just needed this. Give us your bracelet right now. Yes! Gently now. Pay off. My body's still a little weak. Yo, what's up, Kong? Oh, 
they're back! What's gotten into you? You're acting as though I've returned from the grave. Well, Snake. Not as Come on, though. look at you. You did. I really thought you were dead. Huh? You jerk! Idiot! 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 That's true. They did both go sicko mode for each other. I see. I believe I understand things rather well now. Thank you. Yes, yeah, Snake. Santa's the bad guy. In the shower room, there is a dead body wearing my clothes. Yeah, what's up with that? You gonna explain that? Because of that, you thought that I was dead. Correct. Who put you in that coffin? Yeah. You also discovered a corpse in the captain's quarters, and Santa turned on you here, in this room. Do I have it straight? Well, the dead body in the captain's quarters is a surprise. Sorry, there wasn't a good time to tell you. <laughs> we couldn't fit it in well with the flow, you know? Wouldn't flow too well. Don't worry about it. Well then. <laughs> I've got a pretty decent idea of what happened while I was indisposed, but... Did we tell him about the jumpies rave? That happened in this timeline, right? Did it? Yeah, it must have. It did, it did. It's still something of a mystery who did all this, and why. <laughs> that room. <laughs> the corpse in the shower room that looked like me. And the corpse in the captain's quarters. Why were they killed in the way they were? You don't know? No. Why would I? Why would he? The guy in the shower room. We don't know who he is, so let's just call him Mr. X. Mr. X? Anyway, this Mr. X is wearing Snake's clothes. But you're wearing some kind of weird robes. The two timelines. Ace gets a gun, Sandy gets a gun. That means someone took your clothes and put them on Mr. X. We need to figure out who that was. Yo, ten? I apologize, but I have no idea who might have done this to me. I only just now woke up. Two betrayal. I was unconscious during the all the events hand. you just described to me. They must have undressed me and changed my clothes during that time. He doesn't know. When were you knocked out? When we split up to look for the red. Where did they get you? Do you remember? It was a small room in one of the hallways on C. Well, we know it couldn't have been Ace. What happened? The same thing that happened to every one of us when we were abducted. A canister releasing some sort of gas was thrown into the room. It was... Maybe Santa? Would Santa really just leave him here for us to find? How would he have gotten down here? I believe the gas is some sort of incapacitating agent. Then that means it was... I mean, he's got all the symbols on his robes. Zero. Looks that way, huh? There's nothing else I have to tell you. When I woke up, I was in this coffin. Hmm. Why? 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 Why did Zero make Mr. X wear Snake's clothes? What a, what a powerful sentence. Why did Zero make Mr. X wear Snake's clothes? How would that benefit Zero? I don't get it. What the hell does any of it mean? And I have no idea how I got the passcode for the coffin either. Oh, we got the bad ending again? Truth had gone. Truth had gone. 
and truth had gone. Where did those words come from? Why did I feel compelled to push the buttons on the bracelet after hearing them? All I know is my fingers moved on their own. It was like I did it subconsciously. I don't get it. What the hell does any of it mean? Also, Snake and Clover had been subjects in a similar experiment nine years ago. Yo, nine? The ability to access a morphogenetic field is affected by a couple of things. The first is epiphany, and the other is danger. What? I don't remember that. <laughs> and, That's raw. And... Yo, what's up, Will? You didn't miss much. We just got Snake out of the coffin. Someone did actually die. But in the other timeline. Snake and the party. Her name was... Oh, who? What was her name? Um... Oh, this is when we thought June was a ghost. There had been another experiment conducted on this no, no, we just jumped right to this. We started right where the coffin ending ends. Except now they open the coffin. And a girl had died during it. Uh, what? Oh. Morphogenetic <laughs> ah. He's putting the pieces together. Two murders. The two betrayals. The last the stand. Close. The nonary game. Ice nine. The devil. That's how the military game works. Was there something that tied all of them together? Oh my god, it's me. Zero. Oh. I'm Zero? He's the ringleader. The person who trapped nine of us on this sinking ship. Zero should know everything. If we can uncover Zero's identity, all of our questions will be answered. <sighs> the mask comes off and it's me, Gungaga. At any rate, we'll have plenty of time to decipher the details later. For now, it is of utmost importance that we escape. Junpei, it was 4.30 the last time you checked the clock, yes? I guess so. That means we have less than an hour. Oh, uh, zero is the <laughs> seven points. We must hurry. Uh, hey, uh, how are we going to get yeah, out? Yeah, that would be terrible. <laughs> Isn't that obvious? Through the other number nine door. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, you're right. Less than an hour. Okay. Yeah. With Snake, we can open the door. Don't tell me you hadn't figured that out. Come on, you got to tell me these things. I, uh, assumed you'd figured it out. Yo, we have the homie squad back. Forget it. Let's just get going. We so read it. Lotus is a homie now. I don't think I would have called her homie squad a while back, though. You guys ready to go? Yes. Yep. Not yet. Oh. Huh? Come on, guy. You were the one who was in a rush. Before we go in, I'd like to check something. Oh, here we go. You want to check something? He's going to use his ability. Yeah. But before I do, Seven, could you pull the lever? No. I want to make sure we can verify with just the four of us. What do you mean? We don't need... Just do it, all right? What is he at? But if the door opens, don't go in yet, okay? What he do? <sighs> Please, this is really important. Does he not trust one of us? I really need to check this, okay? Work with me here. The older man. Fine. Fine. <laughs> uh, I guess.
Yes, you are my little pug champ. Us can go into door nine. So we knew that already. It's obvious. What was he testing? Obvious. Yeah, you're right. It is. Now, what happens if we add Zero's bracelet? What? Zero's bracelet? Why don't you take it out, Glover? Oh, is this just how he finds out it's not actually Zero? <laughs> so you did know I had it. <laughs> left hand of the corpse in the captain's quarters. If you look at it, you can see it's got a zero on the face. Okay. Just to make this a little easier to talk about. What was it uh, again? I'm going to call the guy we found dead in the captain's quarters uh, Cap. Yo, Cap? <laughs> Let's go Cap. The open door nine with just me, Clover, and his bracelet. <laughs> Let's go. Though the big question is... Yo, what's up, Boomer? This, game, would he really put this is the uh, this is the end of a very story-driven game, so just a heads up. What question did I ask? I forget what number it actually was. I'll find out again in a sec. Anyway, uh, let's just give it a shot. Clover, give me your hand. Uh, okay. Now the captain's bracelet. And pull the lever. It was like hexadecimal, right? Now, what does this tell us? Maybe the bracelet has to be on your wrist in order for it to work? No, that's impossible. Did you see how the panel showed a third asterisk when I scanned Cap's bracelet? Hexadecimal. It was six. Okay. Cringe a decimal. Whether or not it's on your wrist doesn't Based matter. Based cringe. All you have to do is put the bracelet near the panel for it to register. Hmm. Huh. Looks like you're right. See? So what does that mean? There's only one possibility. That bracelet isn't the number zero. Is that what you're saying? That's right. Yeah. Then what number is it? Let's find out. Uh, cap. Uh, this would be two, two, four, six, right? Let's try snake, clover, and cap. If this combination opens the door, then cap. Oh wait, no, is I'm dummy. <laughs> nope, it didn't open. Nope. Then the number isn't. Then. Then. Seven and Junpei. Seven plus five, yeah. Let's try seven, me, and Cap. Cap. If this combination opens the door, then Cap's bracelet is number six. Cap. Oh, seven for Cap. Hey, it opened! The door opened! What? Why? What does that mean? Yeah, I feel like this is huge. The fact that it's six, I feel like this is massive. <laughs> Because, like, June's gotta be important, right? It's June. Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? Cap's bracelet is number six. But doesn't it say zero? This isn't a zero. The symbol on here isn't a number zero. It's a letter O. Oh. Whoa, wait a minute. I don't get it. I mean, we figured out that Cap's bracelet is six, right? Yeah. Does that mean there are oh, two mama. people with sixes? There is most likely only one person with a six. But I don't get it. What about June? Well, She's a ghost. this is only an educated guess, but I think June's number was never six to begin with. What? Her what is it then? Nine? 
Is C9? Was flipped. Oh! <laughs> In other words, June's real number is... Nine. Well, how would that work, though? All right, we need to go down the list. Um, when What combinations have we done with her? How is she? That seems the most likely. Because nine is busted. So that guy was... What was that guy, then? Then all this number door stuff was just a load of crap? Why would you say that? Because if June is nine, then the numbers wouldn't match up. Here, look. She's so good. <laughs> she loves to scribble. List of all the numbered doors June's gone through. I'll let you know what I'm writing, okay, Snake? <laughs> and that's everything. Mm hmm. This is what we thought we did. I wrote down which door she went into and with whom. And I wrote what all the numbers were. So if you switch nine and wherever there's a six, the numbers don't work. Typo at the bottom. Nine plus one is ten plus eight is eighteen. What's the typo? That they went through door four. <laughs> they should that should say nine, right? If the digital root is seven, then you can't open door four. Oh, Comb figured it out. I'm so good. If the digital root I'm is so two, stupid. you can't open door eight. Clover, do you notice anything interesting on that list? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? There's a mistake. You're talking about three, right? Huh? Three? Three. Santa's always in the room with her. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Yes, that's right. What? What about it? That's quite simple, really. Hey, what's up, Nitrum? You told me that the first time you came to this room... Um, we got Snake out of the coffin again, but in a different timeline. This is the good timeline? Where we got the coffin ending the other night. We just got Snake out, and we just found out that June is nine, and not six. Santa was the first to refuse to leave June behind. Now, doesn't that beg the question, why? Why would Santa do such a thing? The answer is easy. Yeah, it's, I'm not following. Because Santa can't open door nine with, with only, only seven, seven in Lotus. Lotus. Oh. So that's why he specifically took June. Of course, there's only one reason for that. His number isn't actually Oh three. my god. What is he, eight? Santa's real number. What? Seven? Would you be so kind as to modify my sister's equations? Yeah, sure. E? Which would be... What would E be, then? What number is that? This is what you were getting at, right, Snake? This is insane. 14, so he's 5? Hmm. Oh, my hmm. God. This is massive brain. He'd have to be zero. Santa zero! Thank you. That is exactly right, Seven. <laughs> Santa's true number wasn't three. It was zero. No way. This is unhinged. Santa is zero? And June was nine, not six. Conversely, Santa was zero, not three. Plus three and minus three, they cancel one another out. Nothing appears out of order. Oh, that's true. They were always together. Oh, yo. This is insane. Yeah, every time that June went through a door, Santa also went through. But, um... So, like, this works out every time. Santa was still playing by the rules of the Nunary game this whole time. I think every time we've had June, we've also had Santa. 
There was there was the shower room, or you know the room with the morphogenetic the room with I hate four things. And then there was the room with the like the the jumpy's rape, <laughs> the Dio coffin. And then there was the um, what well, the room with the coal machine. They were all they were both there every time. And if you didn't go with either of them, they just happened to go off together. The Ice Nine room. God. Precisely. So you're saying Santa planned this whole thing? I'm not sure if he acted. Now my question is, was June in on it, or is she innocent? But I think it is safe. Because I could go either way. Is zero. If my hypothesis is correct. You thought that Lotus was B. Santa panics. Yeah, he was really mad about that. Yo! This is so sick. So, what's Nine Guy then? What was he? And is there just no three? Snake's hypothesis. We might get answers for that. He's still nine. June's bracelet being flipped. So there's if just the possible, he cheated. That would mean there are two number nine bracelets. And if that's the case, this whole game is a farce. All right, that's enough talking. Let's go. It's high time we went through that door. What we've learned. Right there. Technically, the rules haven't been broken, I guess. Except there's not one through nine among us. Among us, among us, among us. I didn't mean that. No. I can still use those words. I don't care. You won't take this from me. Oh. We have to reclaim words. All right. Let's Words can't keep being ruined. It could have been. I don't know. I haven't seen the paper. I think these stairs go to the bottom deck. Looks dry. Let's head down. Looks dry. Hey, it's a. Do we have that? What is that? What symbol is that? Somebody tell me. Harpoon? Hmm. This is the Neptune symbol. Yeah. There must be a key around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, Neptune key. It's like a U with like an upside down cross. It's like a Team Aqua symbol. I only have the Uranus key card. Uranus. They did this on purpose. It's a different planet. Plus it's the wrong kind of key. Let's turn around and go back for now. I know it's a trident. <laughs> yeah. Hey, another door. I thought it was a plane. And a card reader. Yo, Nidoran? It's the Uranus symbol. No. This is the place. Yeah, it is an unknown. <laughs> hey, we have this one. Hold on, what was this hallway last time? Which nine door did we go through that one time in the other ending we did last week? Hmm. Hmm. Because there were two. Did we just go down the same one or a different one? No, we don't know anything about Ace in this timeline. Santa took him because wow. he needed his number, but it's totally full of books. Yo, there's so many. Oh, I mean, he is. I don't know where to there's look. no way they would change that, but we just don't know in this timeline. I'm I'm curious how it's gonna come up. Do not. All right, if we want to get through that door out there, we need the Neptune key. 
I wasn't gonna say that. I was gonna, I was gonna say, I love books. I say we split up and look for it. Okay. Very well. Sure thing. Good. Let's get started then. We don't have a lot of time. Hurry. I love books. Smile. Hey, you can't do this. The last. What if that, that seems like reasonable? That's something that would happen. Yeah. Jumpy Drave. New song. So, uh, anybody reading any good books lately? Lights to the books. Oh, like the Library of Alexandria! <laughs> no. He said, have you ever? And I thought he was gonna... What kind of quit? <laughs> have you ever thought about the pages of a book? Wow, snake. You too, huh? Oh, whoa! <laughs> Snake? Books? Light? Death Note? Yeah, what is this, like, creepy song? I live in the darkness, yes. Oh, like, his eyes. I th you know, he's wearing this robe. And I really thought he was going from, like, some edgy angle. But he's talking about the fact that he can't see, I guess. Did Ace have to go through this last time? I don't know if we went through the same door. Is this the same one? Oh, yo, this is Dragon Quest. We can read this book. A kid's book? Here? What book is it? Good Night Moon? What does that say? Cowboys and Indian? It's Naruto. Hellenism? History of the medieval period. Maybe it's about Sir Lancelot? Yeah! Will! Cultural heritage of Rome. History of the Western world. Okay. A lot of books here. Just gonna leave it at that snake? Yo, what? Clover? Greek mythology? Yo. He doesn't really know Snake in any timeline. I love Greek mythology. Where the heck am I? There's too many books here. What is this? Ernal? Oof. P.U. What's happening here? We can spell nope. Nope, here, find. What if we like switch them around? Pino. <laughs> That's also what I spelled first before spelling nope. <laughs> Let's do this. I got this. Nope. Nope. 
open? Oh, true. Well, hold on. What if we get here? Oh, nep. Open here, find bulb. Parofella. <laughs> One P? Yo. <laughs> this is the crew. <laughs> so the letters spell out. I, I just got done with training. Who's that? Oh. I was <laughs> Bits. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Open here, find bulb. All caps. Powerful light bulb. I like the, I like the descriptor. What, seven? Seven, what? This one says cosmic inflation. Super symmetric string theory? Yo, big string? They put it in. Super string? Billion fold track kilocosm. He knows. An overview of conformal field theory. This is so interesting. Knock it off with the science voodoo stuff. Maybe the devil. Theory of general relativity. Oh, Einstein! Quantum gravity. How about you start by using real This is the squad. Faraday's Laws of Electrolysis. Electrolysis. Snake. Where are we? Where the heck am I? Oh. Everything looks the same. I don't know. At least we've checked. We haven't checked this yet, but... I feel like I'm gonna check the same thing twice, a bunch of times. Ammonites. Mother Nature. Is that some sort of book about hippie chicks? Seven! <laughs> He's so out of his element. Dude, hippie chicks? Really? Even I know this one. This is <laughs> what it's like. This is the one with the monkey. Monkey. Cambrian explosion. Did a bomb go off near somewhere called Cambria? Wrong kind of explosion. Don't care. Is this all like relevant somehow? Or are we just, um, you know, reading some books? We're reading some good books. Amalgus. <laughs> We need to hurry it up or we're gonna end up in the pages of a book like- uh-oh. I'm learning so much. Why did mankind lose their tails? What? 
monk here. Yeah, he's the only one where he can say this stuff and I can be like, yeah. He's so smart. We're so head empty. Let's go downstairs. <laughs> More books. What is this, a library? Okay, let's brute force it. <laughs> Hold on. I've seen this one. Oh yeah. I know this one! I love the junk. <laughs> She's so happy in this timeline. <laughs> she just pops off the book. Conjecture. What's it about? Like magic? <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> Algebraic number theory. Math, huh? Oh my gosh. Okay. Are we writing all this down, by the way? I hope you wrote all of this down, guys. It'll all be on the internet. Modern Japanese literature? <laughs> he loves his picture books. Numbers underlined. <laughs> okay. Book. What's this? Tales of Old Japan? Okay. Origin of Japanese folklore. Yeah, he did get the three most head empty. I was gonna say Santa, but clearly he's not. <laughs> clearly he's a genius. I mean, I guess that's still not necessarily true, though. What's this, warm? What? Steiner? What did he do? What did I miss? What did they do? Alright, well this is obvious. Come on. Uh, is one of you like missing a light bulb? Three bulbs. Alright. Shelf on the left. This one? Oh, this. Well, I already looked at that. So there's three bulbs and we have one. This is gonna be a long, a long, long puzzle. Look again. At this. Awesome, there's a lock on the glass door. Yep, won't budge. Smash it! You said it was glass. 
Oh, here we go. Owen. Dad kind. Dad kind. Is that like mankind, but like dads? Shell Drake? Dad kind? <laughs> Ooh wee! <laughs> Owen, huh? Libernies. Well, if Snake doesn't know what it is, we'll never know. Shell Drake? Yo? Alright, what's the puzzle, huh? Alright, I'm out, I guess. It says Rhyme and Hypothesis! Length, girth, lubrication. How come there's eight of these and seven of these? Six of these. Hey, wait. What the? Hey, it's still there. I am returning this. It could be. That's all we have to go off of. I, I'm gonna try it. Why not? Oh, 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 oh. These ones. 632415. Yo. Open. Gimme. What? Gimme. Feels like a light bulb. Pretty high wattage too. Bit of a light bulb expert. Remarkable craftsmanship. last bulb. Did we check all of these? Do we have to go up top? Oh god, there's so much- uh, Hold hands! Aww! keep track. At least we got it, though. Oh, that's a baseball! What does it say? Fundamentals of baseball? Alright. Here's a book that's perfect for you. Correlation of muscle, bone density, and bone strength. <laughs> Dissection. Human equilibrium, human anatomy, regeneration of internal organs, ancient gladiators. Yeah, they did not do this puzzle in an hour. I don't believe it. This is the, this is easily the longest puzzle they've done. They had to go through a whole library. I thought Futility would be in here. <laughs> Functions of the brain. Right, let's let's take it for later. None, there's no rule. <laughs> Principles of monkey behavior? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the... God, there's so much! I can't keep track of everything. Did we go up here yet? DNA? 
Photochemistry. Oh, yo! Alright, I'm out of here. Don't shove. <laughs> hey! Don't antagonize him. We're all just having a great time here. Meanwhile, who knows what's happening with the other group. Ace could have turned. Oak. Oak. Do I have to combine them? Well, if not, then... Does it say kill? Oh god, it does. Head. <laughs> okay. Sh sh what? Rake five? Ice nine? Sis. You say they seem familiar. Sheldrake 5? Yeah. Does he really have to... Alright, Junpei, fine. Sheldrake 5? I think I saw the Mama rest of this five? somewhere. Yeah, I think it was somewhere around here. Let's go take a look. Okay. Sheldrake... Have you heard of him? Sheldrake, I mean. Yeah. I know a lot about him. Yeah. Lotus told me about him. Did she? There's a, There's British, a British biochemist named Sheldrake. Sheldrake. He has a rather, rather interesting, interesting theory. theory. Morphogenetic, Morphogenetic fields. Yep. Which, relies which relies on the theory, on the theory of, of morphic, morphic resonance. resonance. Who would have really? known? From Lotus, huh? Well, Clover also said something to me about that stuff. She did? Yeah, um, what was it? The ability to access a morphogenetic field is affected by a couple of things. The first is epiphany, and the other is danger. Was Sheldrake Zero? <sighs> that girl. Is Santa Sheldrake? Told her not to tell anyone. You did. Why? Well, look, man. I didn't push it because we're in a hurry, but I'm kind of sick of this. How about you just tell me, okay? <laughs> tell you what? Don't give me that. About the experiment. Ugh. Very well. Fine. I'll tell you everything, but not here. Let's move to the top floor. Why? I suppose I might as well start by telling you why I kept quiet, and why I made sure Clover did as well. Okay. Lore, to be honest, lore, lore, the explanation lore. is quite simple. Zero told me not to. I had little choice. He didn't walk up and tell me, of course. He gave me a message engraved on a card. That's... A braille card. It looks just like the one you showed us earlier. So you had two cards. No, only he one. He just made up what the other one, what it said. Huh? What do you mean? I thought that card just had some rules for the nonary game on it. Yes, it did. And those were the rules I read you. However, they were not the only thing on the card. There was something I didn't read. Well, perhaps I should say there was something I couldn't read. And that was, tell no one of the events that took place nine years ago. Tell, and I activate your sister's detonator. What? It's a threat on our lives. Oh, well, um, well, what about Clover? Did she get a message from Zero Two? I don't believe she Zero did. Zero Two? But doesn't it strike you as strange that Zero would shut my mouth, but not hers? Yeah. To be on the safe side, however, I told her it was best not to tell anyone. Still, apparently she told you. That girl. That girl. What's wrong with her telling me? 
I figured some stuff out with the thing she told me. Hmm. I mean, it looks like the whole activate her detonator thing was just a bluff. A Steiner's bluff. She's prancing around downstairs, happy as a clam. Now that you're back. <laughs> they look down together, and she's just going like <laughs> dancing around seven. That's very true. I've decided I can trust you. I've decided to tell you the truth. The chance that Santa is zero is very high. Okay, but it's not a hundred. Okay. I feel I can assume Santa doesn't have the time to observe us at the moment. I don't think Santa can see anything. And at any rate, even if he were, if I he very is zero. much doubt he would kill us. Why? Clover told me about the four-leaf clover, about the words. If he knew about that, then he was in my group during the first experiment. I'm sure of oh, it. Oh no, so he's not it either? He wouldn't kill us, no matter what the situation was. <sighs> hey, uh, Snake? Yes, I know. You want to know what happened during the experiment? Yeah. Great, so he might he's probably not zero either. How much do you know? Clover told me about. I see. The morphogenetic field in the experiments nine years prior. Okay. How the experiments had taken place <laughs> what, simultaneously what, in two locations. One being the ship and the other being a building in Nevada. Here's the deal, right? There's no way anyone could brute force that password, right? She knew the password. She was just bluffing. She just made it look like she didn't know. You know, Nevada? Half-Life? And the girl that died during the experiment. June. She told you all that, did she? Hmm. At any rate, I now know how much you've learned. All that remains for us to determine is who did this and why, right? Yes. Can you tell me what happened? Yes. The people who organized the initial experiment were from a company called Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Write that down. There were four of them running the show. Gentaro Hongo. We know that guy. Nagisa Nijisaki, Teruaki Kubota, Kagechika Musashido. Hongo was the Yo. CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. <laughs> the homie. <laughs> Looking good. Nijisaki was his right this hand. This is the man Joker. And did the lion's share of the planning. Kubota led the company's research is and that development cap? division. Is that Cap? And that's Nine Guy. Who's this other one? Musashido was their majority stockholder. It was Who's these this four people is that... who planned the initial experiment. Is it Guy X? How would we know that? Hmm. Let me simplify it for you. Hongo designed it, and Nijisaki put it all together. Kubota developed the technology required. I guess that's the only Musashido person left, though. Cash. Huh, so it's Hongo, Nijisaki, Kubota, Musashido. Oh, we did see him, that's right. Of course, more than four what people was he were doing required here? to conduct an experiment of this scale. To that end, they organized a top secret team to assist them with their research. All in all, they gathered ten people or so. Those ten completed their team, and they were able to begin the project. They named it... The Nonary Project. Zero must be Santa. He probably wanted revenge on all these guys and made them play. And then I don't know how we play into it. The purpose of the experiment I don't know. was to research the it must be June. Of controlling a human mind through sheer will. The uh, vessel, I suppose you could say, for this control was the morphogenetic yeah. field. Huh. Why did the glycerin suddenly begin to crystallize? <laughs> Why did the crystal structure of Eden Team <laughs> undergo a sudden change? The devil! It's Desiree! Why did the rats improve their puzzle-solving skills with each generation? The rats, pog, 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 pog. Experiments with humans produce the same results. The more people who knew the answer to a question, the more there were who could answer correctly without having seen the problem before. Why is that? How could it happen? Why? Hmm. The answer is that the shape of the answer has been stored in a field invisible to the naked eye. Write that down. Write that down. Write that down. And through that field, the resonant event transmits information related to that answer. The answer. That's essentially the idea behind morphogenetic fields. But that's just a theory. <laughs> yeah? Finish it. 
can't bring yourself Finish to the line. It. Yeah. Let's say someone killed another Santa's person. Santa's sister. The devil yeah, she probably him. played the game, right? Like, I, I figured that out. Because she has to play into it somehow. The devil? <laughs> oh, baby, the devil! Whether the devil exists or not has no relevance to murder. Stop talking, Snake. They believe the devil exists. Whether or not he does is immaterial. So what matters here is that Hongo believed in the morphogenetic field. Two Santas? Oh God, that's that. Could, well, that didn't happen in this timeline. Well, a lot of things didn't happen in this timeline, though. The two Santas had to have some significance, right? That's right. But I still don't get it. You said they wanted to figure out how to control people, right? That is what you were saying. Yes. So how are they going to do that with a morphogenetic... Two Santas was this? No, this was the timeline where he told another story for some reason, right? Or was that the other one? I'll keep it simple. Let's suppose 10,000 people have solved a that certain was last problem. Oh, okay. The chance of you knowing that answer, even if no one has told you, will go up. He told this... Okay. Okay. Thanks for keeping me on the right track, because I can't. I can't keep track of all the timelines. Let's have another example, shall we? Say one million people were to do a handstand right now. Yo, what if? Tomorrow, the chances of you doing a handstand would be higher, even if you had heard nothing of this hypothetical mass handstanding. Mankind's thought process and actions are all part of a resonant event. All of the resonant events encoded in the fields are projected onto you. Of course, this assumes you believe in this theory. Do you follow so far? Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, if there was a person who had the same effect as those millions of people, what would happen? What do you mean? One person has that power? Is that what he's getting at? One person has a powerful morphogenetic field? If that one person were to do a handstand, other people would find themselves wanting to do handstands as well. Can you imagine what a person with powers like that would be able to do? Come on, there's no way. I'm not done. Imagine another scenario. Imagine another person. Oh, this is what the experiment was for. They wanted to create a super being or whatever. This is an ordinary person. Let's say he does a handstand. Mm -hmm. What if there was someone who could grab the resonant event he created by doing that and use it to make other people do handstands. What would happen then? Um... I don't know if people would do handstands. Mm. <laughs> a person who has the power to write to the field and someone who can read from the same. Oh my god, it's Lotus. Read and write? Coding? It's Lotus. You could think of them as the writer and the reader. Lotus. Or the transmitter and the receiver. Lotus. What would the world be like if there were people with abilities like these? I don't know, Jojo? Hold on! So the transmitter's resonant event can be transmitted through the field and sent to the receiver. And then the transmitter can control the receiver however they wish. That's what you're saying, right? Yes. Close enough, at least. Oh, I'm a receiver. Someone transmitted something. Come on, that's just crazy. June's a transmitter. Well, if you want to prove that, then you'll have to test These it These are like first. Nen types. <laughs> At least, that was how they thought. That was why they decided to do their experiment. That was how the Nonary Project began. By the way, Junpei, have you ever heard of the Gansfeld experiment? There it is. There it is. Yeah, that was an experiment in telepathy, right? You place a pair of subjects in separate rooms. Then you show one a picture and ask the other what they see. Interesting. I'm impressed. Yes, that is exactly correct. So, why did you bring up the Gansfeld experiment? It was used to screen subjects for the Nonary Project. The hospital in a remote town was affiliated with Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Hongo used it to conduct experiments on visiting children in secret. Will is such a transmitter. <laughs> You're right, sis. 
I didn't pick up on it at first, but I <laughs> he's absolutely a transmitter. Some of them he found had potential. Your potential? He began to gather children that showed promise. Children that seemed as though they might be able to access the field. Of course, none of them volunteered. Children that can access the mainframe? They were kidnapped. There were nine pairs of siblings taken, for 18 children total. For reasons that were not fully understood at the time, each pair had one transmitter and one receiver. Yo, June's not my sister, right? <laughs> they were split perfectly. As such, the 18 children were split into two groups of nine. The children who were put into group Q were the ones who excelled at transmitting. You know three of them? Santa and his sister. Snake and Clover. Who were the last? Lotus had kids? Oh, she, oh okay. That would be them. I thought she had a kid. They were transferred to the mock experiment building known as Building Q in the Nevada desert. The children who excelled at receiving were put in Group A. Group A was then placed on the former hospital ship Gigantic. Gigantic. From the experiments he had conducted so far, Hongo had learned the following. There are two things that can increase one's resonance with the fields. The first is epiphany. The other is danger. Have you ever been faced with an especially difficult problem and thought about it very long and very hard until finally an answer suddenly appeared in your mind? It may seem obvious to say so, but that is what is meant by epiphany. Yeah. The information obtained through that epiphany can be easily transmitted through the fields, where it can be easily interpreted. Adding danger to that equation allows for even easier field access. That's where Hongo came in. They set up a number of puzzles across the Gigantic. The participants had to solve each one before they could move to the next room. Of course, he hadn't forgotten to include danger. He had detonated a bomb in the hull of the Gigantic. The children in Group A were forced to play the nonary game as the ship sunk. By forcing the children into a life-or-death situation, Hongo hoped to increase the likelihood of their tapping into the fields. The children from Group Q, on the other hand, were confined to the mock experiment building, Building Q. Building Q duplicated the interior and puzzles of the gigantic exactly. Every detail was exactly the same. Hongo explained the situation to the children in Group Q. Solve the puzzles you find throughout the rooms. When you have the answers, transmit that information to the children in Group A. If you succeed, they will be able to solve the puzzles and escape. But if you fail, then the gigantic will sink. Dang. And your brothers and sisters will drown. This is so screwed up. Those were his orders. Hongo. Do you know why the astronauts of Apollo 13 were able to return to Earth safely? No, I don't. It was because NASA had access to a replica of the Apollo 13 capsule. All of the equipment, the instruments, everything. All of it identical. Everything was just like the real Apollo 13. NASA was able to replicate the situation the astronauts found themselves in. By putting themselves in the same situation, they attempted to solve the problems the astronauts were dealing this with. This is sick. Once they found solutions, they reported their findings to the men aboard the actual capsule. That was how they were able to return safely. That's cool. I didn't know that. It was the same with the gigantic and building Q. The children from Group Q had to use the power of Epiphany to solve the puzzles they found and transmit what they learned through the fields. The children in Group A, however, they had to access the fields to learn how they might advance to the next stage. That is the simplest explanation I can manage. Huh. Hey, Junpei, Snake! How much longer are you two gonna sit around on those bony asses? <laughs> NASA used the morphogenetic field. <laughs> Get down here already! He's right. Let's go, shall we? We don't have much time. We need to get out of here and soon. Hold it. There's one more thing I want to ask you. Hmm? Are you sure that there were 18 kids? <laughs> Why? Listen, I played Danganronpa. Well, I thought it was only 16. 
Oh, yes. That was what they said on the news, wasn't it? Yes. I have no doubt that 18 children were abducted and used in Hongo's experiment. After all, you couldn't exactly play a nonary game with any less, could you? Well, yeah, but are you saying that the news got it wrong? Yes, I am. There were two more children. Why? However, Why they had no plan, relatives that I'm aware of. I imagine no one filed a police report when they went missing. I wonder why this is even a plot point. They were brother and sister, like Clover and I. The brother's name was Aoi. The sister's name was... Her name was... Akane. <laughs> her name was Akane. <laughs> that was the girl who... He was right. <laughs> She's a ghost. <laughs> She's a ghost. A conic or she died. Leo point, Leo point, Leo point. Nine years ago? Then, who is Chun? That's not her. No. No, 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 no. It's impossible. <laughs> it can't be true. Akane isn't that uncommon of a name. If Snake had known her last name, that's a different matter entirely. Oh, by the way. So we share a name. A lot of other people do too. It doesn't mean anything. There was someone else. Of course it was. It has to be. <laughs> Crab rave. <laughs> Is something wrong, Junpei? Your breathing sounds strange. Oh, uh, no, it's it's nothing. I'm fine. That's what you spoiled? Oh. Let's get back down there, all right? <sighs> I couldn't do it. Why didn't I ask? What's her last name? I just couldn't get the words to come out. Can we go? Is there? Wait. Oh, we never. We never, uh. <laughs> Button. Couldn't we have just moved these books? Does always ask. Her. Mm. Okay. Final Fantasy. All right. Hey, who who knows you, who's break out the hexadecimal for me real quick? A is ten, right? Can I not see the? Okay, here we go. This is an A. B C D. So D. D E A. D? Dead? <laughs> Boom. Found it. Hey, we did a puzzle. It only took 